Greetings, Professor. This is Adam Prieto, and this is my screen recording for the first homework assignment. So to begin, computer program one, use the function nest to evaluate p of x equals one, to evaluate p of x equals one plus x plus infinite term and polynomial terms at x equals 1.00001, find the error of computation by comparing with equivalent expression, q of x equals this expression here. Okay, to begin. First, what I wanted to do was find the value using the long form polynomial, which is this sum down here. And to do that, what I first did was created a list variable, which is going to be able to hold all of the polynomial terms, as well as a string variable set equals zero just for future reference. Next, what I did was I used a for loop here to go ahead and actually calculate the polynomial terms by just calculating uh, some polynomial term x raised to power i, i is our index within the loop, and then adding it to this list variable up here. And then what I did next was after this for loop, I added together all of the elements within my list using the total command within Mathematica, getting me the long form polynomial term that you see down here. And then what I did was, next was I copy and pasted this term here into this function here and declared this uh, new function called w of x. And then next what I did was, what I said was, okay, go ahead and evaluate w at 1.00001, the value in question, and then just add a little bit of extra accuracy so our, our terms, and, and I got this initial value here for our final answer for the long form polynomial. Next for the condensed polynomial, uh, same concept, uh, only this time we're given the condensed form. And so I just declared a variable here called q of x with the given expression, evaluated it at uh, x equals 1.00001, added some additional accuracy out to 25 digits. And then to compare, what I said was, okay, go ahead and take the initial value that we calculated up here. Go ahead and subtract that from uh, the value that we created down here for the condensed polynomial, and then just take the absolute value. And I got this final value right here. So to conclude our final answer, we get 51.01275, et cetera, for long form polynomial, as well as 51.01275, et cetera, for Q of X, with the grand total difference of 6.18314 times 10 to the negative 11th power for our total difference between the two numerical values. Next up, computer program two. Uh, use nest.m to evaluate p of x equals one minus x plus x squared, minus x cubed, et cetera, out to x to the, ni x to the 98th, minus x to the 99th, at x equals 1.00001, and then find a simple equivalent expression and use a test to make the error of the nest multiplication. Okay, same concept as before. Only this time, since we have alternating signs in our p of x term, what I had to do was use two for loops to generate the appropriate polynomial terms for the expression. But other than that, the concept was the same. Go ahead and declare a list variable to hold all the polynomial terms. Use two for loops to add in all of the appropriate values to the uh, list, and then add together all the elements within the list to get our final expression. One thing that I would like to note is that here within our for loops, I am actually using uh, a negative here within this first for loop to represent all of the negative terms in the polynomials. And then within the second for loop, I'm doing the exact opposite using a positive sign to get all the positive terms and then adding them together to get the final desired expression. And then once again, I go ahead and went ahead and copy and pasted the polynomial terms into this own expression here, which I called r of x, and then I went ahead and evaluated r at the value in question, got this initial value, and then I added in some additional padding for some additional uh, accuracy. Okay, for the condensed form, what I did first was I found a equivalent expression for the polynomial term above, which I found out was this, and then I went ahead and evaluated the function, which I called g of x at the value in question. And then I also uh, added some additional uh, padding to the number. And then once again, I went ahead and took the absolute value of the two differences. So the difference between the condensed form and 
the long form calculated up here. And then I got the following for the final answer for the difference of 9.8824, et cetera, times 10 to the negative six. Okay, next computer problem. Find the smallest value of P for which the expression calculated in double precision arithmetic at X equals 10 to the minus P has no correct significant digits. Okay, so to begin, first off, 10 X minus X over X cubed. First, what I did was I declared a function G of X, which is the equivalent expression uh, only with our variable being X. And then I created a second expression called H of P, which is replacing X in our initial function with 10 to the minus P to get the following expression. And then what I did next was I used Mathematica's limit command in order to get the limit for the original function. And then I set that equal to a variable here, which I called LHS for left-hand side. And then what I did next was I found values after increasing uh, values of P within H of P up here. And so what I did was calculate H of zero to 15 digits of precision, and then the same process with H of five and H of 10 with the expectation that as the value of P increases within H of P, we should be able to get a value uh, closer and closer to the limit. And so, when we evaluate the expressions, we find exactly that. The limit of above for g of x equals one third. And then as I continued increasing values of p within h of p, I got closer and closer to a value of 0.3. And so for this function, the limit as x approaches zero equals one third. And as we increase the value of p and x equals 10 to the minus p, the limit equals the new value. Next problem. So this problem is almost identical to the previous problem in that we're going to go ahead and declare our function with the given information from the problem and then replace x as our variable in the previous function with 10 to the minus p. Next, find the new left-hand side for our initial function as x approaches zero, and then find values for our second function increasing the values of p with the expectation that as the values of p increases in our second function, they should equal the limit from our first function. Okay, the limit from our first function equals one third. And then as we increase values of precision within our second function, we find that the values do in fact approach the limit, that being one third. To conclude, evaluate the quantity square root of c squared plus d minus c to four correct significant digits where C equals this value and D equals this value. Okay, so to begin, what I did was I cleared values of C and D within my Mathematica project and then initialized C and D with the respective values given above. Next, I went ahead and calculated the expression given the values above as well as the instructions stated previously to get this value here and then I rounded it to four significant digits to get a final answer of 2.750 times 10 to the minus eight power.